Hello beauties! Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my March favorites. I have a couple products that I want to share with you guys. Some of them are new to my beauty collection and some of them I just continue using over and over again. This video is going to be a lot more relaxed. We're all going to be chilling, talking about products. I want you guys to grab some popcorn, your favorite drink, and just chill with me for a little bit. Come on guys, I, I even got my sweats on. I'm a little sweatsuit, you know what I mean? Even though I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda hot. Today was a lot hotter than most days. I don't think it's gonna rain anymore in California and I'm still sad. <laughs> this is gonna start to get hot, but hey, the beach is down the street. I did do this look using one of the palettes that I'm gonna mention today. Um, so if you guys wanna see this look in a future video, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. Also, make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, also give it a thumbs up. And let's get right to the video. So today, I wanna show you guys a foundation that I tried out this month. I heard so many people raving about this foundation and I actually fell in love with it. I was so into the Fit Me by Maybelline that this one is right up there with it. It is the L'Oreal Infallible 20 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. It looks like this. My shade is 455. I love that it comes with a pump. Makes life so much easier. I actually tried this foundation out the night that my sister gave me the call that she was ready to have her baby. So I wore this and I was so surprised when I was applying it because it applied like a dream. And I was even more surprised the next morning when I woke up. Well, not when I woke up because I was kind of in and out of sleep um, waiting for the baby. In the morning when I decided enough is enough, I need to take my makeup off because this baby just was not coming. Um, I was really surprised that my foundation still looked amazing. I had put my head on a pillow and there was no transfer. My foundation was it was perfect. So I really fell in love with this foundation. I even bought it in a darker shade because I know summer is coming and I'm going to get tanner. And I've been self tanning so this is definitely a favorite right here guys. The next product that I want to talk about is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I'm not going to lie, it was a mission to even find this one and it's not even my, it's not even my color really. It's a couple of shades lighter than what I would normally go for, but I really wanted to try it out. I actually tried it out and it reminded me a lot of this shave tape. Even like the applicator itself looks, it reminds me a lot of the shave tape. Um, it's a really good concealer. I think it was only like six bucks or five bucks. And it really did a good job in concealing the areas that I used it for. It also did a good job in highlighting. But I would definitely recommend this concealer Although, I think it's like sold out everywhere, so I mean, I haven't tried the website. You guys can try on there. I've been waiting for Target to stock up on it, but these are very rare to find. And for some reason, I can only get my hands on light peach, which is not my color, and it for sure won't be my color next. So my next product that I'm gonna talk about, guys, is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I had not tried this because I was so stuck on my Born This Way concealer, um, but I heard a lot of people talking about it so I wanted to give it a chance. This concealer I think is only $6 and it is amazing. I'm, I'm using it today. I actually bought it last week and I've been using it all week. I literally am so impressed with the results that it gave me. This one kind of reminds me of the Born This Way concealer. Um, it's hydrating, but it sets down beautifully and it conceals any areas that I wanted to make sure that I had extra coverage on. So this concealer, guys, is amazing. So the next product that we're going to be talking about, guys, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Stick. Looks like this right here. I use this as a cream contour and let me tell you, it blends so nice. I actually like this a lot better than the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick. 
I have it in mocha. It looks like this. But for some reason, I don't like the way it blends. Sometimes I feel like it picks up my foundation with it. But this one right here, so nice. I literally just put some right here around my forehead, underneath my chin. I contoured my nose with it and I really, really liked it. And I think this was only like eight bucks. I think it was only like eight bucks. It might have been cheaper. I'll definitely list all the prices in the description box, but I know that it was a lot cheaper than the Fenty one. So if you guys are looking for a good contour stick, I recommend this one right here. So next I wanna talk about a um, eyeshadow palette. I picked up the NYX Ultimate Edit Palette, this one right here. It has a bunch of pretty neutral shades in there and I actually fell in love with it. It's so easy to blend and the colors are actually really pigmented and beautiful. Ugh. The palette looks like this and it's really pretty. I think this palette was like, oh god, I need to get my receipt. So the foundation stick was actually $5.99, which, come on guys, you cannot beat that. Now, the palette was actually $7.99, and it gives you six shadows, which I think is a great deal. I actually use this palette to create this look today. I use this color right here as my transition shade, and then I use this color right here in the crease. And then I used this color right here on the lid. Of the lid, I actually added a little bit of this Peri Para um, eyeshadow. It looks like this. So it like literally just went on as a topper and it looks so pretty. So if you guys are looking for a cute, affordable palette, I recommend this one right here. Next, I want to show you guys some bronzers that I'm obsessed with right now. I got this in a subscription box. It is the Pretty Vulgar Sunkiss Snitch 120 Bronzer. Looks like this right here. The packaging is to die for. Look at this. So pretty. Finding an affordable bronzer that doesn't leave you streaks or patchiness is actually hard to come around. So when I tried this one I really just fell in love with it but I have another bronzer that I tried out and I think it's cheaper than the pretty vulgar one I will check and I will leave the prices in the description box down below but I got the morphe bronzer which looks like this look at the size of this bronzer you get so much product and I think this bronzer was $19 which isn't bad at all for the amount of product that you get with it. It also comes with a beautiful mirror. It's a good size mirror. It's the size of the square itself. So this to me was completely worth it. Um, I have shade Megastar and I know the shade Lighter was really pretty as well, but I like to stick to Megastar because I mean, like I said, the summer is coming, girls. And we all know that we're all gonna try to achieve that bronze goddess look. So I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, those are the two bronzers that I wanted to share with you guys this month. Next, I wanna share with you guys a highlighter palette. This is not a new palette. It's new to me. I had not purchased it previously when it launched, but I should have because I really fell in love with this palette. This is the Morphe with Bretman Rock Bape in Paradise palette. These colors are so pretty. The highlights are amazing and they're so pigmented. I'm gonna show you guys a couple swatches. This palette is actually $30, but you get six highlighters in the palette which I think is a great price. So if you haven't picked this one up, I suggest you go to your nearest Morphe store or order it online because this highlighter palette is life. So I also wanted to share with you guys the Jouer Blush Duo. These two blushes to me are so beautiful. 
I'm actually wearing this today and I seriously love the way that these blend into your foundation. You don't see any harsh lines. I think the colors are beautiful. This one is Adore Blush Duo with the colors Adore Me and Hold Me. It's a little more on the pricey end, but you get what you pay for. The product itself is beautiful. So if you haven't tried these and you're willing to spend the extra money, I suggest that you get these right here. So pretty. And the packaging is also stunning. Even though one of the corners started lifting, which is so weird. Yeah, I had to like push it down and it hasn't came back up since, but it was pretty weird. Cause I just recently bought it and I mean, I only have played with it a couple times, so it shouldn't have happened, but hey. So next, we are gonna talk about my favorite fucking lash. I literally went to Ulta and I grabbed every single box that they had in this style because I am so in love with this lash. These are the Kiss Brazier. Looks like this right here. These lashes are so beautiful, so wispy. They look so natural. I have them on right now. You know you like them, girl. You know you do. They are honestly, off top, one of my favorite lashes right now. The band is very flexible. It's not hard to apply them. When I say I grabbed all of them, like I'm not lying. I grabbed all of them. The lady that was standing right there next to me was staring at me and she was like, I was like, mm-hmm. I took all of them, sorry. And I'm not sharing, bitch. I did mention these lashes in one of my videos. I use these lashes for my sister's maternity photos and her baby shower, and she fell in love with these, so I am sticking to them. I am a true fan. These are one of my favorite lashes, guys. They're only $6.99, which isn't bad. I was able to wear one set at least four to five times, so if you take care of them, $6 isn't that bad. Another blush that I want to mention is the Boxum Wonderless blush. It's this one right here. This blush literally just melts into the skin. It is so pretty and it looks like it has a shimmer, but when you lay it down, it literally just melts into your foundation. It's such a beautiful formula. If you haven't tried these, you should. I have other colors too, but this one is my favorite shade off top. The next product that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is a highlighter. This highlighter is a part of the Morphe Liquid Highlighters. It is in the shade Optic. I'm wearing it right now. I love these highlighters. At first to me, I felt like they were a little messy, but once you apply it with your finger and then you blend it in with your beauty blender, it just sinks into your skin. It's so pretty. If you haven't tried these, you should. They come in a box of, I think it's four, um, and I think the price was like $32. It kind of sucks that they don't come in singles, but it is a really pretty color and the formula is really bomb because some liquid highlighters that I've tried kind of look patchy or kind of sit on top of whatever else you have underneath it. But this one right here, I feel like it blends. It just sinks in how everything is supposed to. So this one right here is my favorite. The next product that I'm gonna be talking about is these L'Oreal lipsticks. They look like this right here. I bought three of them. This is one of my favorite colors. I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick. Look at that. You see how shiny it is? It's because they're so hydrating and they have so much shine to them. You literally don't have to wear a gloss. Right now, I'm just wearing a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm not wearing any gloss, but it just feels so hydrating. This is the other shade that I got it in. We got 904 and then 900. So I got three of these, but these two are off top my favorite colors. We have Vanish Rosewood, which is this color right here. And then we have Glossy Fawn, which is the bottom color right here. I feel like it's rare to find a lipstick from the drugstore that doesn't make my lips peel 
or make my lips feel a little dry but these ones right here you literally don't even have to wear a gloss they're so hydrating they're so shiny I love wearing them to work since I don't have time to go and apply three lip products so that I achieve the look that I'm going for these ones right here amazing next I'm gonna be talking about a lip liner that I recently came across and I am loving it is the makeup forever artist color pencil and it is in the shade versus hollow chestnut I mentioned this in a video previously I love this color it looks amazing with almost any neutral shade I love to pair it with Morphe's lipstick in whipped which is this color right here it's one of my favorite combos but I also like to pair it with the lipstick that I was telling you guys about right now which was varnished rosewood these two right here is what I'm wearing today and I love it these lip pencils are actually for multi-use so you can use it in your eye area you can use it for your lips you can use this for almost anything these are one of my favorite lip liners they are so pigmented I am obsessed with these okay guys so we're almost done we're just going to talk about two skincare products that I wanted to share with you guys the first one is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost hydrating mask which is this one right here this mask is only like three dollars and fifty cents and it is amazing it's so hydrating I actually used these the other day that I came back from the hospital I felt like my skin was so dry I felt like it needed that extra boost and this right here did it for me it is such an affordable mask and you can find these at the drugstore I bought mine at Target these masks also have hyaluronic acid which we all know is amazing for your skin so this one right here is a must-have you guys should go pick some of these up the next product that we're going to be talking about today is the bio republic skincare loss baggage under eye emergency repair masks which are these right here i bought these also right after i came back from the hospital i wanted to try something new so i gave these puppies a go and they work so nice and they're actually pretty amazing you just open them you put them right underneath your eye i put them on for about 15 to 20 minutes after i was done with that then i went on with my regular skincare and i really feel like it helped the appearance of underneath my eyes since i had gotten no sleep in the hospital so if you haven't tried these i would give these a go you can find them at target all right guys so we reached the end of the video i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you guys seen a couple of items that maybe you were thinking about picking up or a couple of items that you weren't sure about some of these you guys have probably already seen like I said some of them are new to me but I'm definitely glad that I tried them because now they're my go-to's okay guys so that's it for me don't forget to subscribe and like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment any products that you guys think that I might enjoy I always like to hear your guys' thoughts I try to respond to all my comments so don't forget to leave some love I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one bye guys adios